There is one effect that every single client out there wants more than anything else, and that is screen replacements. If you want to get hired, this is probably your best bet at doing so. And guess what? Screen replacements are actually really easy to do. So buckle up, because I'm going to break this down into three steps. First, we're going to take our footage and identify the four corners of whatever screen we want to replace. Second, we're going to take the image we want to stick onto the replacement and identify the corners of that image too. And finally, we're going to take both sets of corners and combine them all together to get the final result. Got that? Okay, good. So yeah, step one. Let's open a Blender and load up the motion tracking workspace. Here we can load in the video we want to use. I'll be using this one I found off of like thedevo.net or something. I don't know. The link's in the description. Check it out. It's free to use, so why not? And you know the drill. Hit set scene frames, prefetch, and then finally in the render properties, change the view transform to standard. And now we can use the video without running into any problems later on. So next, let's control click on all the different corners of the screen. I'm going to select them all and then hit track forward. And hopefully if everything goes well, you should see some weird squares kind of attached to all the corners. Also, if you go to the solve panel and hit set as background, you'll notice in the viewer we actually get the video we're using uh, as the background. For duh. But you'll notice our points aren't there. So go to reconstruction and hit link empty to track. Nice. So if you're still awake, you've completed step one, which is the hardest of them all. The rest is going to be pretty easy. I'm going to go back to the Layout tab, and if you've got the Images as Planes add-on activated, then you can go to Shift-A, Import Images as Planes. And from here, you can select whatever image or video you want to replace onto our screen. Next, with the image selected, we'll go into Edit Mode, and on each corner, go ahead and click Control h Hook to New Object. And that was step two, so now we've just got to take everything and put it all together. So on all the new empties we've just created for the image, I'm going to go ahead and add in a copy location modifier. Then I'm going to select the corresponding track, and you'll notice it's now sticking on. So repeat this for all the other ones, and there you go, we're done. I'd recommend you render this out with Eevee, and then composite it together in something like HitFilm or After Effects. So if you want to see a video on that, do let me know, and I'll see you next time.